horses. It's been model horses. And it's been a while since we've done kind of like a sit down like tag type video. Um, but everyone is doing one of these and we have done them every year. So we got to do it again. Um, we're doing our top tens of 2020. 2020, the year that went down in history. Do you want to go first? Yeah, I guess I'll go first while Hannah is digging through her box. So my number 10 is Show Me. He is a stone Tennessee walking horse, obviously. He's really, really pretty. I impulsively bought him when he was on sale and he turned out to be gorgeous, which you cannot tell on camera, but maybe I'll stick in a picture because he is beautiful. He is painted by Audrey Dixon and there were six of him made. He was supposed to be an Equilocity special run, but he, not Equilocity, Equine Affair. Equine Affair did not happen, so. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what he was supposed to be from. My top 10 is a little bit weird, but my number 10 is Rushmore. And he is a horse that I've always wanted since I started collecting. And I just, every year at Briarfest, I didn't pick him up. And I don't know why I didn't do that. And then his price got really crazy. And then I found this one on eBay and I was like, okay. And I got him, he had acrylic paint all over him and I was able to wash it off. But he's is fine now, so. Rushmore, kind of like a childhood Pretty. want, I guess. My next one, it's technically two horses, but a putting her in here because she's bigger and easier to show on camera is Karina and Celine. Um, yeah, I mean, they were like one of my favorite premier club horses forever. I remember so clearly when they came out, um, we saw them on the cover of a JH magazine and we thought we were, they were stable mates because of the picture. Do you remember that? Yeah. We saw that at a show. Um, and obviously they're not stable mates. They, they are big and their paint job is gorgeous. I found her. Okay, so the next one is Croy. Um, so this is a Premiere Force from a while ago, 2014, and Emma sent her to me, and I've been wanting a Croy for a while, but their dapples are notoriously bad, but this one has really pretty shading and really pretty dapples, and if it wasn't for Emma, I wouldn't have gotten her. So, uh, yeah, she's really, really nice. I'm yeah, so happy. Yeah, I saw her, and I loved how light her shading was on her barrel and her face. Yeah, so I'm so happy that Emma sent that to me because I've been wanting her for a while now, and I finally have her. So my next one, and it's so weird, I can't even believe that I got this horse this year because I, it was so like, long it was ago. so long ago, <laughs> um, is Kahindi, who Hannah and I traded for him. And obviously I love the ASBs and he's super cool and he's got little stripey butt and yeah, so he's cool. I think Hindi was in my top Ooh. 10 really? last year or two years ago and I just know that he'd be happier at Emma's house because... Yeah, he has a whole bunch of brothers. So my next one is Silver Knight and this is a connoisseur that I got this year. Um, He's on the Adios mold, which I really like. I really want a frappe, but he's so hard to find. But I did find a Silver Knight, and he's very, very pretty. And his dapples are cool. He's a very pretty model, and I really like connoisseurs. Which, by the way, Briar was supposed to do some sort of connoisseur release, I guess, in December, because they did Ambrose last December, and he was first of a series, and they didn't do him this year. So that yeah. was a little strange. I just like decided not to do it. My number seven is the glossy Sea Bollywood Surprise, who I traded my Troubadour for because um, I was just a little bit disappointed with Troubadour, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, but I'm very, very happy with this and he is gorgeous and you cannot see him very well on camera, but. My number seven is Oh. <laughs> Caprizzo! And, um, so I was going to put my Dapple Grey Peruvian Paso in here, but then for Christmas Emma got me Caprizzo and finished my Peruvian Paso Conga, and I honestly, did. Caprizzo is just a lot nicer than that Apple, not Apple, it's a Dapple Grey thing. So, um, yeah, he got the number seven spot instead of the Dapple Grey, but oh my god, he's so cute. So, of course he had to come in here. Almost had to steal him, but <laughs> I need to find a pass up for myself. So, so again, these three horses that I'm doing, so my seven, six, and five are all like very equal. I like don't know what order to put them in. So, 
Next is my Glossy Dominante, who you guys already saw. Um, yeah, he's just really pretty. I love this mold. Um, he looks amazing in gloss. And I'm glad he wasn't a Briarfest Glossy because I needed a Glossy Dominante in my life when he came out, so. Yeah, but they did do that silent auction thing. On yeah, I feel so bad for that lady. Yeah, But she, she did say that, like... She did make a post on Facebook saying that she's glad that other people can yeah. have a Glossy Dominante because she really likes hers. And hers has a COA, so she... But she is kind of... She, I think she said she was disappointed that yeah. it happened. But that, I can't speak for her. Next, I have Oak. And I really like Oak. When he came out, I really liked him. And then... Um, he was super excited. He was super exciting to open up for the whole Briarfest haul. Like, I was more excited to open him up than my Ash, which is weird. But I do really like him. Um... I just really like this weird speckling thing that Briar and Peter Stone do for the Appaloosas, and he has a bunch of it, so I like it a lot. Next is my glossy Palomino Slancha Surprise, and yeah, um, I freaked out a little bit when we pulled her, um, because she's my favorite variation of the surprises from this year, and she was glossy, and the fact that I was able to get her without trading anything was pretty insane and it was virtual Briarfest, and yeah, she's also just super, super pretty. Uh, so my next one is my Appaloosa Pop the Cork. Oh, I should, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I when, I, when he first came out, I didn't like him, but then he grew on me a lot, so I finally have him. Again, I really like the Appaloosas with the little speckly things, and he has little speckly things, and he's just very cute. I used to do barrel racing with my Appaloosa, and he's kind of like, it looks like he's turning a barrel, and he's an Appaloosa, so I don't know. He's cool. I like him a lot. Well, okay. Um, I didn't realize that was going to happen, so <laughs> that kind of decided my order for mine. Um, my next one is also a Pop the Cork. Um, this is the Flaxen... I, I want to call him a Sooty Palomino. I don't really know what color he is. Um, Overo pop the cork thing and I have been wanting him for so 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 long I remember drooling over a glossy one behind Hannah's table at Briarfest one year um, at the open show and yeah obviously this one isn't glossy but at least I have one in matte and he is so pretty he's my first Nakoda the only one I've ever owned and he's gorgeous and he's gonna be staying for a while ever. <laughs> Yes. And he's, he's very hard to find. Yeah. Um, there's... I feel like no one talks about it. Yeah, I think it needs to be brought up. <laughs> it, yeah. So, the Appaloosa is technically the rarest, but you see the Appaloosas for sale everywhere. I think that he's the rarest of the Pop the Corks. You never find him for sale, and when you do, he goes for hundreds of dollars. Yeah, there's... I so. mean, Briar has made mistakes like that before. There's, like, no way that they didn't. Yeah. Personally. I mean, like, they could have said we want the Appaloosa to be produced to be the rarest, but then in China, right. the production could have gotten them mixed up and accidentally made more of the Appaloosa. I mean, they messed up with the Glossy Dominantes, they already made one, so it can happen. And I think it did. That was my favorite briar I bought this year. So, I <laughs> bought a Warrior's Feathers during the Peter Stone Equilocity event? Yeah, was that uh, for their Art of the Horse. Their Art of the Horse, yes. I saw this horse, and then I fell in love with it, and I was going back and forth on if I should get him or not. And he was... Yay, he, peer pressure. Yeah. He had a price <laughs> tag, but Emma was like, if you don't get him... I will cry. And if you do get him, I will be very jealous. Yeah. And I was like... And I am very jealous. <laughs> I was like, okay, well... If he's that pretty, then I should get him. <laughs> Um, but he has, like, war paint and feathers, and he's an Appaloosa. He's very cool. Um, he has a custom forelock and a tail. Yeah, he's just very pretty, and of course he had to We'll definitely put pictures of him in. Yes. Of course he had to make my top ten. And he's, like, a lot darker than I thought he would be, but it doesn't matter. He's pretty. Go on, Jess. Yes. Okay. My number three is my Vincenzo resin, who I... Don't 
think you guys have seen in any videos yet. Um, but yeah, I bought a Vinny this year. My Cadence is currently getting paint, so if he were to come, he probably would have been in this, but he's not here. So my Vinny is my number three, and he's just gorgeous. Um, obviously he doesn't have paint yet. He does have plans. I do have an artist picked. They're not set in stone, but um, he is just stunning. And I'm like, I really love resins right now, so. <laughs> Maybe a few more will come live with me soon. I don't know. Maybe. So my next one, my number three, is a horse that you guys have already seen on this channel before. It's my It horse. I didn't bring him with me because um, I honestly don't want to travel with him if I don't have to. Like, he'll come with me to shows, but not for a video like this. So we can put pictures up. But yeah. I really like stretching my creativity with models and doing something that people don't normally do and that's why I love entering the Briarfest diorama contests because I can do that and I just decided to do one for fun this summer because COVID and he ended up being one of my favorite art pieces ever and I go downstairs and I look at him and I'm like oh my god that's so cool <laughs> so yeah he's my number three but sorry I didn't bring him yeah okay so my number two I got two very very big grails this year and um, I was super lucky to be able to keep my job through COVID. We both were for the most part. Mm -hmm. Um, and I bought a confetti. He, well, I put an in search of ad on model horse sales page and somebody responded. Um, and I of course bought him because why wouldn't I? <laughs> um, he is super, super pretty. And he was my first, like, big well, I, purchase? yeah, I guess, yeah. I mean, blue velvet was really my my first big purchase. He um, was like what I consider like my first rare purchase. Um, I've had other rare horses, but I've never actually like bought them secondhand. I don't know. Um, so yeah, he's really pretty. He's from the Sunshine Celebration. He's like the celebration model from that event. And he is gorgeous. And he's also showing really well, which is surprising for his color and his mold now that Hamilton is out. But my number two is my custom Dundee oh. that I did. Um, I don't know. It's just, I like him a lot in this color. Um, I kind of got in a weird spot in the hobby this year with like, my OF horses don't make me as happy as my customs do. So, I don't know. I just really like him. I mean, it feels kind of weird putting my customs as like my favorite stuff, but they're what I'm most proud of. So this one is one of those, and I have another custom that I was doing this year that I really like, but she's not finished yet, so here he is. Okay, my number one, you guys have not seen yet, um, and it's kind of weird and like, I don't know, I guess it's not weird because I love this mold, but this is a horse that she came up at Briarfest as one of those, like the warehouse find things. And I entered for her, and I had, like, ten other people enter for her, and obviously I didn't win her. Um, and then I was so sad, I was like, okay, well, I'm never gonna own her then. And then one came up on Model Horse Sales pages, and Hannah sent me the ad, I think. Um, and, yeah, so <laughs> I bought an All That Raz this year, and you guys have not seen her yet, but I bought and all that rest. <laughs> um, I don't really know what to say. She's really, really pretty. She was my biggest grail forever. I used to laugh at myself about owning this horse. There was no way I was ever going to own her. Um, and now I do, and it's really weird because I don't have a grail anymore. And I'm sure there, <laughs> Hannah can attest to this now that she has like Silverado and some other things. And um, I don't know what I'm looking for anymore. So yeah. confetti and all that rest were definitely two of my biggest ones. Um, and yeah, so... Yeah, it's very only... weird when you religiously conga a mold and then you get all of them on the mold and you're just waiting for Briar to release another yeah. one. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Sages, Othello's and Peruvian Passes did that to me and Emma's um, Bluegrass Blue Bandits. Bandits. And she's getting there with the ASBs. There's just so many ASBs. Yeah, there's so many and yeah. so many of them are decos, but I still really want all of the ASBs because I love them all. Um, but, yeah. yeah, there she is. I know people don't like the Grass Bandit, but I do. Do they not? There's tons of people who hate her, but 
more for me. <laughs> exactly. My number one is my custom Hamilton. Oh. I, so, okay, when you're, when you have a good mold, the mold basically paints itself, and Hamilton is like resin detail quality on plastic, which I didn't even realize, like, I don't, he just, he painted himself, really. He, like, chose what he wanted to be. Just very cool. I tried doing a horse this color earlier this year, and he is Hold on. pretty. Oh, <laughs> Kyber. Sorry. See? She's still here. <laughs> we can she's show him in the video. She's still there. He'll be okay. You, have you heard him trying to get Figgy to play? I, yeah, he was barking. Yeah, he, and Figgy doesn't know how to play. Yeah. <laughs> Figgy's like, um, yeah, no, I don't know how to play. Anyways, this is Kuiper. This is Kuiper. My dog died in 2020, so now we have a puppy, and he's a little monster. <laughs> so I guess he should be my real number one, because he's alive. <laughs> Come on, Kuiper. Come see Auntie. <laughs> but we have a few videos that should be coming very soon. We're just waiting on some things. Um... Yeah, and I don't know. I mean, we do You guys apologize. will bear with it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Emma works a lot, and I also work a lot. Yeah, so we're both in school full-time, too. And, and we're college students. We're not in high school anymore, so it's like, if we don't do well in... Like, if I don't do well in school, I'm not getting into PA school. So, like, I need to do well in school. Or my future depends on it. Yeah. It's not just about getting a degree <laughs> at this point. It's Yeah, so um, we do apologize... I mean, we love plastic horses, but we also like our future, and if we don't have a future, we have no plastic horses. Right. So I hope you guys um, care about that too, because you should be yeah. putting education. And obviously you guys love when we upload, you guys are all so nice. Yeah, and um, we love all the love that we get, and we're so happy that we've gotten DMs from people. Um, they watch our videos and they say that they get back into like, collecting, which is awesome. Yeah, I get so many DMs, it's crazy. Um, yeah. And we really like that. Yeah. Um, just, we're here to share love, and we are very sorry that we are not yeah. very good at uploading. We also hosted our own photo show in 2020, which is still kind of in progress, but yeah. by the time this is uploaded, it'll hopefully be done. Yeah, we're going to try and finish most of it tonight. If you have video suggestions, please leave them below yeah. so that we can film more stuff. We just are kind of at a loss. Yeah, we have ideas, but we don't, like... We don't know what you guys want to see, so right. And if you tell guys, us. yeah, we get comments too asking when we're gonna upload next. But we're like, well, we don't know because we don't know what to film. Right. So if you guys could help with that, that'd be good. <laughs> yes. And here's to 2021, and hopefully Briarfest is this year. Yeah. And we can see all of you. That was something I was very sad about this year. Yeah. Yeah. We really wanted to meet you all at Briarfest. Yes. Well, hopefully next year the community will be even bigger and we'll be able to meet you guys. So. How do we close these? Bye!